Hi artists, I thought that we could do some drawing together again. Do you remember how we did our step-by-step -step drawing on our Zoom meeting? And we drew what animal? A sea otter. Kind of looked like a seal and a monkey too. Well, I'm gonna have us draw a different animal today. And remember, you can follow along and pause the video and grab a pencil or some markers or crayons, whatever tools you want to use to make your art today and something to write on. Or maybe you just want to watch the video or maybe you want to draw something else and just draw with Mrs. Manning. So you could make your own drawing and you don't even need to follow Mrs. Manning's video steps. We could just draw together. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. So I'm not going to tell you what the animal is and see if you can figure it out. Huh, I think I'm gonna start with orange, but you choose what color you want, okay? And I'm gonna make a circle first. Okay, and remember if you make a mistake, that's okay in art because you can just change it and find a solution. And sometimes mistakes turn into something that you like even better. Okay, so hopefully you have the circle. And now I'm gonna do the ears and they're triangles. You're probably already thinking, I might know what this animal is, Mrs. Manning. And I'm going to switch my color. I need, I could use pink or red. I think I'm gonna use pink. And I'm gonna do a second triangle inside the ear that's pink. And I'm actually gonna color it in. Look, we made a circle and some triangles. How many triangles do we have? Let's see, one, two, three, four triangles and only one circle. We are not done. Okay, the next step is gonna be part of the face of the animal. So I'm gonna switch to brown, but I could use black, I could keep using orange, it's up to you, you're the artist. And I need to make, hmm, what shape would I call that? It's kind of like a rainbow. So it's this part of the animal's mouth. So I'm gonna start on this side and make a rainbow arc all the way to the other side. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. I'm gonna switch to black now. And I'm gonna make the nose. It's a triangle upside down. And it's kind of got curved sides instead of points, just like we did on our sea otter. Okay, I'm gonna color in my triangle. Looks like my black marker is running out. Gonna need to get a new one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the mouth and I just go to the tip of the triangle and I draw a line and I curve it to this side and then I do another curve on that side. I'm gonna go back to pink and make some more circles. I'm gonna go right at the end of the mouth and make some rosy cheeks. My animal has rosy cheeks. Probably because it's feeling so excited and happy that you're drawing it today. Do you know what animal it is yet? Hmm. Looks like one of my sides of the rosy cheek is a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna keep adding rings onto my circle till they're about the same size. Okay, I'm switching back to black. Okay, we're gonna add three lines here. One, two, three. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the mouth. One, two, three. Okay, are you ready for the next step? We're gonna make the eyes and they're ovals, almost like an egg. So I'm gonna go right by the nose and make one oval eye, kind of tilt it to the side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
Do you know what we're making yet? I don't know. And then I want to do the pupil of the eye. So I'm just going to do another little black dot. We're getting closer. Okay, the next step is we need to add some stripes to this animal. So it's kind of like making a bunch of triangles, but you're not doing the bottom part of the triangle. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go up to the ear and do the top part of the triangle side and then the other side. And the bottom I don't need to draw because it's going to be on the face of the animal. And I'm going to make another stripe and another stripe, and they can be all different sizes but you'll notice that my stripes are getting smaller as I go down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I made one, two, three, four stripes. So I'm gonna do that over here too. A stripe and another stripe and another stripe and another stripe. And when I have time, I'm gonna go back and color in all of the stripes. I also wanna add some on the ears. Add some stripes there and some stripes here. Okay, and if you want, you can um, color in all the stripes now. I'm going to add a few more stripes and then I'll go back to adding the details. What animal are we making? You probably said either a cat or a tiger. Mrs. Manning is trying to make a tiger, but it also looks like a cat too. And maybe you're making a different animal. So I'm gonna to go to the very top of the head. How many of you knew it was a tiger all along? And do another long triangle. So I did a small triangle and a long triangle. And then I'm gonna do one more. And I'm going to color those in too. My black is running out, so I think I'm going to switch my marker. And I'm going to color in all of my triangles. If you were thinking like a mathematician, you might want to count all the triangles that we made today. I'm actually going to turn my paper because it's easier for me to color it in. I hope you've been finding time to do art at home. Art is really good for your body. It's a mindful activity. You're still thinking and learning, but you're being creative and your body is more peaceful when you're doing your drawings. It's a good way for me to let all the stress go and really focus on my art. After art, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go do a workout because it's also important to exercise your body. Right now we're exercising our mind and our hearts. And now I'm going to go after this, exercise my body and still my heart. Okay, so there's our tiger. And what I want to do is add some crayon colors to it to color it in even more. So I'm going to look for an orange that I want to use to color in all the extra parts. And then I think I'm going to use like a tan if you have one or a lighter brown to color in the mouth part here. Well, let's see. No, not quite that color. I think I'll use this one. Okay. This one's a desert sand. That works. And I'm just going to go back in with my crayon and color in the mouth part so that there's not so much white. Now we just did the head of the tiger. If you had more room on the paper, you could add the body to the tiger. Think about all those stripes that you would need to add. So many stripes. Hmm, you could even name your tiger. That would be fun. I think I'm going to write tiger on my paper. And remember, what do artists always do? They sign their name on their artwork. So you need to remember before you're done today to put 
put your name somewhere on your art. Now you could do your whole name or you could do just your initials. Sometimes artists do that. So I could write a B and an M for my initials or I could write Mrs. Manning or maybe just my first name. And then I'm gonna go back and do some of the orange. That orange kind of looks a little red to me. Does it look red to you? And I think it's the only orange I have in here, so I'm just going to use it. And go back, and now, artist, I don't think I'm going to have time right now to color in the whole face, but I could do that after my workout today. I just wanted to show you how you could add some more color and details to your tiger. This would be a great gift for somebody that you could surprise them with in your house. Maybe a family member like a parent, a mom or a dad, or maybe you live with your grandma or your aunt or your uncle. Families are also different. It's whoever you live with, or maybe a brother or a sister, or maybe you just want to make it for yourself and put it in your room. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm going to write tiger. I think I'm going to do it in blue. Tiger. What does tiger start with? T -t -t -t. I heard a T too. Tiger. Hmm, I think I'm going to write it over here. T-I-G-R. The long I sound. T-I-G. G. What sound? G. What letter says G? Did you say G? And then er. Er. It's an E-R ending. Even though you just hear the R. There's ER endings at the end of the word in a lot of different words. Tiger. And then what do I need to remember to do? Sign my name. So I'm just going to do my initials and I'm going to do it at the bottom. I'm going to do a B and an M. But maybe you want to write your whole name today. You can do that too. Well, thank you for doing some drawing with me. And I hope that you find somewhere special to put your artwork. You could even snap a picture and send it to me. I'd love to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring in my tiger. Bye, kindergarten.